magandang hapon o umaga sa lahat. Uh, narito po tayo sa ating uh, uh, the, la, the, the second to the last topic of our preaching series, United One Lord and One Vision. I will be I will be sharing to you today the last subtopic of the One Law One Vision, and after which uh, on the last week of uh, October I'm going to share the conclusive. Uh, our conclusion for for the preaching series united one lord one vision in this uh, topic today i'm going to share to you the one of the one of the most important things related to vision na napag-aralan po natin na last week na ang ang ating uh, ang, ang pananaw na ibinigay ng panginoon ay uh, in Sabay, or it is related to how we love God and uh, how we express this kind of love by feeding the sheep. And so, uh, it is important for all of us na malaman natin na meron dapat patutunguhan ang isang buhay. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this uh, day that Lord God, we ask you Holy Spirit to speak to us. We ask you, Father God, that uh, you minister to us, Lord, in this topic, vision. We know, Lord God, that a uh, blind can never see, but you, Lord God, who open the eyes, Lord, so that we can see, Lord, and understand your purpose and your plan for us as your child, as your children, and as your people. This I ask through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. One of the... Uh, famous uh, missionaries of time uh, under the name of William Carey. He said that uh, expect great things from God. Minsan, nakukulong tayo sa ating uh, uh, paniniwala na we don't deserve to see great things. You know, when you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, the greatest the greatest uh, thing that ever happened in your life is when Jesus came. And so, many great things is about to come because the one, the great I am is already in our life. Amen po. And so, we need to expect great things from God, attempt great things for God, for we have a great big God. Pag-aasahan po natin may mga malalaking mga pangyayari sa buhay natin, Dahil ang Diyos natin ay napakalaki at ang pinakamalaki at ang pinakamakapangyarihan na nilalang sa sanlibutan. In fact, it is the entire universe. No one can compare with God. And so, as children of God, and one of the attributes of having a life of faith is that we are attempting to do great things for God because He is a great big God. Siguro kung wala tayong Diyos, wala po tayong karapatan na mag-aspire ng mga malalaking bagay. You know po, when I started to serve the Lord, I to, I, I, it really boiled in my heart na, Lord, if I'm going to serve you, kasi naranasan ko magtrabaho sa mga companies, malalaki at maliliit, if maliit ang company, you cannot expect greatness agad. Although it will grow later on, but if you are in a great big company, then perhaps you can expect great things uh, coming, right? Great pressures, great responsibilities, but also a great compensation, right? But, you know, in our spirituality, in our whole being, as a child of God, well, who, we are serving a great big God. Kaya nung nag-serve ako, sabi ko, Lord, uh, if I'm going to serve you, I will attempt great things because I believe you are going to be with me. And ang sabi ko sa kanya noon, uh, Lord, kung hindi mo man lang ako sasamaan, eh, huwag mo na lang akong, hindi na lang ako pupunta doon. I will never aspire to this, uh, to the ends of the end if hindi tayo magkasama. And so, that is one. You gave me this vision. Meaning to say, sasamahan mo ako. Kaya, we are attempting to do great things. Amen po. And that is one. Okay. 
we need to set a goal for something so great for God that it is doomed unless He is not with us. Mag-aatan pa yan ang mga goals sa ating simbahan, sa ating ministeryo, sa ating pang-araw-araw, sa ating mga personal lives, na yung goal natin na parang wala talagang backup plan, wala kang aatrasan. Parang, Lord, kung hindi ka kasama dito, at uh, sigurado palpak talaga ito. Yun bang, uh, yung, yung, yung katinuan mo, yung wisdom mo, yung intelligence mo, yung influence mo, yung, yung gaano ka kagaling magsalita. Pero kung pupunta ka pa sa mas mataas na level o antas ng uh, paglilingkod, na alam mo wala na talaga. Hindi mo kakayanin. Na kapag hindi ka pa sinamahan ng Lord, wala talaga. Amen? Wala talagang mangyayari. Like for now, uh, I am already pastoring. And I am, uh, you know, it's not ordinary that uh, me as a pastor and then uh, one of our churches are there in Jeddah and probably it will spread out to the outer most of the earth. And it's not probable. It is a big, big, uh, uh, a, 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 a real vision that God gave us. Pero alam nyo, kung hindi ako sasamahan ng Panginoon, malayo lang ang isang kalye ang aabutin natin. But I am attempting great things. You are attempting great things with me. And you are attempting great things with your ch- cell churches and in your ministry because we know that God is with us. Do you think I can I can handle these things right now? If not for God, you know, I, I know my capabilities. I know my limitations. Hanggang kung sa basketball ba, hanggang little league lang talaga ako. I could never be able to place myself in the big leagues. But you know, my God is a big God. And that's why we as a church, as a ministry, can aspire and set goals for the great things. You and me, together, to the ends of the earth. Amen? Okay. So what is a dream? It is a condition or achievement that is long. It's what we are aspiring. I want to see cell churches spreading like wildfire. Holy Spirit is being, you know, uh, having feast with the praises and worship of His people. And there are many people who will come into repentance and receive the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord. Kahit hindi na po, napupuntahan ng ating mga, mga pastor, mga disciples na lang nilang mga pumupunta, ang, 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 ang revival ay talagang lumalaganap at uh, spreading out like wildfire. No one can stop it except God. And that is the kind of dream that I am seeing right now. And this is the vision that God gave us to the ends of the earth. Cross borders will be there. Proclaiming the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Okay. Vision is the act or power of imagination. The Lord gave us the dream. And this dream is is, uh, having, is you know, for displaying power. It's a mode of seeing, conceiving, unusual discernment of or foresight. Amen? Unusual. <laughs> unusual po sa akin, alam niyo po, simply lang, that I am with my family, I, I, I live a comfortable life, and uh, I have these things, I have those things. But you know, I am serving God right now, at hindi lang na papastor, I, I, I am also disciplining pastors and leaders. And this is unusual. You know why? Because I know my limitations. Then natatawa po ako na it doesn't make me inferior or insecure, my friend. It gave me a confidence even more that whenever I see my limitations and I was able to see great things unfolding right before my eyes, I became more confident. It's not insecurity that I am admitting to you my limitations. It is a confidence that God is 
walking with you. That God is walking with you. That God is walking on this ministry. He is the one guiding because he owns this. Amen, Paul? Hallelujah. When we develop a united vision as a church, it threatens Satan and his work. One of the most, you know, uh, effective weapons of the works against Satan is a unit, united church. But alam niyo po, pinagpipiestahan ni Satanas ay ang simbahan na wakakura. Ay ang simbahan na may kanyang panahon. But ang pinatatakutan ni Satanas, makita lang ang anino mo. Cross borders yan. Ang Panginoon ay nandiyan. At tayo lumalakad sa isang daan. Takot na takot ang kaos. Amen po. And he will do everything. Satan will do everything in his power. Yes, retaliation is there. He will do great. He, even in subtle ways. You know, hindi nagpapakita sa Satanas sa atin ang sungay at buntot. But minsan, he is going to divert our attention with cute little things, with beautiful things. But you need to stay in focus to the vision. Because the more you focus on the vision, God is going to take care of you. Amen? That's why, because God is going to protect you, because He's going to use you, and Satan is afraid of you, because we are a united church in one Lord and one vision journey. Amen, Paul? Okay, so He will do everything, but wala, the enemy is powerless, you know? And uh, I'm excited to share to the pastors uh, this Friday in our discipleship that uh, I'm going to, to, to share to them the, some basic techniques in spiritual warfare that I've been doing uh, for many years and I'm trying to uh, uh, cascade it to you. But you know, we need to know where we are. Nasaan ka? Tanongin mo yung kapat na tabi mo. Nasaan ka? Ikaw na nasa unay ngayon. Nasaan ka? You have to check your focus. If you set your eyes as a, away from Jesus Christ, you are doomed for failure. I will tell you, you need to focus on Jesus Christ and the vision He gave for to us, for us. Okay, most of us never venture out of our comfort zone. Kasi akala natin, comfort zone for us is the uh, yung body natin talaga, yung physical body. Yung hindi tayo ayaw natin na hirapan, ayaw natin na na hindi natin nakasalayan. But you know, when God is giving us vision, He is giving us an unusual discernment, unusual foresight, at makikita mo doon ang kakayanan ko hanggang dito lang. Alam mo, the moment you realize your limitation, and God gave you a vision greater than you, greater than your capabilities, and that is the time that you are on the right track. You know why? Because you will really need God. You will be desperate for God. You know, I have many challenges here right now. As a pastor, I have a challenge every day. Paano kapakboy itong si Vidabal? How am I going to talk to this person? How am I going to minister to them? How am I going to take care of them? These are challenges. But you know, I just realized that uh, this is, I have my limitations. And I'm so thankful with the Lord because He has shown me my limitations. And that I cry out to the Lord, Lord God, I need you. And then the moment I realized my limitations and I admitted it to the Lord, the Holy Spirit came and assured me, I know you are limited, but I am limitless. Amen? Our God is a limitless God. Our God is omniscient God. Hallelujah. So in order to establish a dream or vision, we have to get out of our comfort. Our alam lang natin na kaya natin to, confident tayong gawin ito, comfortable ako sa kanya, comfortable ako kung hindi na doon. Uh, uh, ang 
yan lang, binabakuran ko yung sarili ko. But you know, when you get out of your comfort zone, that is the time that vision becomes clear. Why? Paano mo man magiging klaro sa'yo? Kung ang nagbigay sa'yo, ng pananaw na yan, ay hindi mo naman kasama kasi ang ang inaalaga mo ay yung comfort zone. God can speak to us more clearly, more vividly, more, more, more expressively. Get out of your comfort zone. Okay. There are three things needed for a vision. May tatlo pong kailangan natin gawin para sa isang pananaw. Sa isang vision natin as a church and as a, per, as a family man, as a, as, as, as a son, as a daughter, as a friend, you know, as a brother, as a sister, as a pastor, as a self church leader, as a discipler, there are three things needed for a vision. I'm talking to, to a unitap, united vision. Hindi po tayo kahit iba-iba. Kahit tatay ka man and you're talking to your son, kahit a husband and wife ka and you're talking to your wife or your husband, or to your daughter perhaps, to your family perhaps, your vision, God gave you is aligned to the vision of God. You are aligned to the vision of God gave us and the church is aligned to the vision of the Lord. So there are three things needed for a vision. Ah, uh, nakausap ko po ay itong dalawang uh, magkasipahan. I will not mention their names, but I was so blessed with their names. And you know, it became more clear to me as I spoke to them that uh, ito pa lang na individual natin na journey. Pangarap ay malaki po ang aspeto nito na nakukontribute sa pagkalahatang vision ko natin. Kasi for example, ako, yung personal na life ko, if it is not aligned to the vision of my discipler, if it is not aligned to the vision of my pastor, if it is not aligned to the vision of the church, and this church is not aligned to the vision of the body of Christ, alam nyo, it has a domino effect. Ang pinakalugi dyan, ikaw. Amen? So, kailangan po, lumakad po tayo along the line with a united vision, either ano ka mang simbahan na ani, but if you are in this church, you need to walk in unity with the vision of the church. Amen? So, what are things needed for us to, 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 to for, for this vision? Number one, we need to be persistent. Ano mo yung persistent? Yung hindi ka basta-basta sumusuko. Amen? Kahit ang pagsubok dyan, hindi ka sumusuko. Let's open our Bible. In 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19 to 21. So, ito po ang buhay po ni Elisha at uh, how he related himself with Elijah. So, in sabi ni Brian, So, he departed there and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was flowing with twelve yoke of oxen for him. And he went twelve, and Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him. And he left the oxen, and I ran after Elijah and said, Let me, I pray thee, kiss my father and my mother, then I will follow thee. And he said unto him, Go back again for what I have done to thee. And he returned back from him, and took a yoke of oxen, and slew them, and boiled their flesh with the instruments of the oxen, and gave unto the people. And they did it, and then he arose and went after Elijah and ministered unto him. Elisha know, knew about the miracles of Elijah. Alam po niya kung ano ang mga pinagagawa ni Elijah. Ano? He increases the oil of the widow of the Zarephath. Naalala niya the widow of the Zarephath. No? Na drought po on. Pero nakuha po mag-sign, mag-provide ng miracle sa pamamagitan ng buhay no? ni Elijah. He raises the son of, from, uh, of the widow of the Zaripa. And also, it causes rain after seven years of drought. Nagkaroon ng ulan. No? After seven years, diluin mo yun. And calls fire upon the soldiers of Isaiah. In 2 Kings chapter 1, verse 10 to 12. Okay, so Elisha knew about the power given from God to Elijah. But his 
dream was for more. Nakita po niya kung paano kumilos ang Panginoon sa buhay ni Elijah. Pero alam niyo po, ang pangarap niya ay mas, Lord, gusto ko po, nakita ko po yan, pero mas gusto ko pong maranasan ang mas malalim at mas makaiba po na milagro na gagawin mo sa aking buhay. And so, tingnan po natin uh, in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9 to 10, and it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do thee for before I be taken away from thee. And Elijah said, I pray thee, let a double portion of my thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou ask a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me, when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. So Elisha received a double portion of anointing because he was persistent in his dream. You know, when I saw Pastor Powell, he was, you know, preaching, sorry to Lord, I want to be like him. I want to, I want to minister like him. I want to, to experience also the manifest presence of God, you know, when I minister to him. But not only that, Lord. I want to see nations submit to the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is where the vision came. And you know, through diligence and persistence, alam nyo, hindi lang basta makita natin ang pangarap. Maraming pagsubok na babagabag sa atin at uh, dadaan po tayo sa apoy upang ma-purify I passed through fire and I know many fires are still coming for me to be tested and be purified and this vision will be purified as well that I may be able to see here. If it is also applicable to you, may binigay ang Panginoon sa buhay but you will pass through tests and trials. But I want you to know to stand for you will receive your reward as you stand faith. Stand firm in your faith. Number two, kailangan po natin a fresh perspective on your kanina. Ano ang kapang kailangan sa vision number one? Be persistent. Huwag ka basta basta susuko. Amen? Si Elijah at si Elijah, nakita niyo yung buhay niya. Many signs and wonders, but still the disciple aspired for more. I am discipling you right now. And I am praying that I can see in you the double portion of anointing. Amen. That this, I am discipling these young people here in Dabo, and I am discipling also our pastors there in Zedda. That I can see, you know, every time we preach, uh, as much as possible, I am blessed. I am blessed. Ang akin naman po ay mag-focus po tayo at huwag kang madudule at huwag kang ma 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 madidistract sa muna ng bagay. Fix your eyes unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Number two, we must have a fresh perspective on God. Ano po ibig sabihin ng fresh? Bago Because our God, uh, akala mo na-stock up 
ka na, Lord, at nandito lang ito kasi napapangilalaan ng aking mga ninuno. No? Na, uh, ito kasi ang sabi ng mga kasabihan. Masyado tayong naniniwala sa mga paniniwala ng mga matatanda. No? You know, I tell you right now, you need a fresh perspective of God. Paano, ano ba ito makakilala mo sa Diyos noon? At dapat bago na po yung pakakilala mo sa Diyos ngayon. Amen? Kaya pag ako ay nakikita ko yung mga testimonies ng mga kapatid natin sa lili, ako po ito ang tuwa. Because, you know, alam niyo po, nararamdaman mo, uh, galing talaga sa puso, no? It is alive. Ramdam na ramdam mo na nagbabago yung perspektibo nila. We can, we can put flowering words, no, in our, in our takeaways, but you know, we can always sense that you receive a fresh perspective of God. Whenever you receive the word of God, whenever you open your life for God, amen, and he is going to do that, nothing is impossible with him. Luke 18 verse 27, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Ano, ito ang ito. Itong itsurang ito, ha? Ang pananalitang ito. You know, I, I, I do not have this. Maga, I'm, I'm not like the other people who are, you know, so uh, uh, famous right now. So, uh, uh, kilala na talaga, no? Whenever they preach it, nagkakaroon talaga na uh, uh, grabe, no? Responses. But you know, Beyond my limitations is a God without limitations because with God nothing is impossible. So, alam kong magagawa ka kahit may posibleng bagay dahil lumabas na ako ng comfort zone ko and uh, God took over in my life. Well, everything is possible with God. We can, but we cannot allow to settle our faith on traditions and old man's Alam nyo, dati, pag dear ni Santo, patay ang Lord, takot na takot ka. Uy, huwag ka nung maglalaro dyan. Pag nasugatan ka, na hindi na gagaling yan. Alam mo bakit dear ni Santo yun? Patay ang Lord ngayon. No? Ah, naglulok siya ka pa pag Sabado, nakaitim lahat. Gusto huwag ka maingay. Eh, wala ang Diyos ngayon. Patay ang Diyos. Eh, Diyos ngayon naman. Ah, ba yung perspektibo na ahawakan mo? And that's the, all the more you need to have a fresh perspective on God. Our perspective on God and our faith must be anchored on His limitless ability. Say the word limitless. Our God is unlimited. He is bottomless. Amen? Okay. See me mission only become a reality when it is centered on Jesus Christ. Kapag iba ang nakasentro sa buhay mo, walang mangyayari. Even if I will preach to you 10 years every day, walang mangyayari. You know why? You need Jesus Christ to be at the center of your life. Kasi pag hindi siya ang nakasentro, distracted ka. I'll tell you. I will tell you. Philippians chapter 3 verse 21 Who shall change our vile body that it may be, might be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Sabi, if we remain self-focused self-centered the vision will still be fulfilled because it is his dream but the question is will you still be part of it? Okay? Alam nyo, everything are being subdued by Jesus Christ Himself. All things unto Himself. All things submitted unto Him. But, kailangan lang po natin maisintro na ang Diyos ang nasa sentro ng ating buhay. If our lives are centered on the Lord Jesus Christ, then we will be able to journey with this community to the ends of the earth. Wala po to the ends of the earth kapag hindi si Jesus ang nakasentro. Mabibig mo man, lingko-lingko, ang vision ng simbahan ito. Makita mo man yung four core values ng simbahan ito sa lahat ng sulok ng iyong bahay. Araw-araw, minuto-minuto. Pero kung hindi si Jesus ang nakasentro sa 
po mangyayari ang to the end sa buhay mo. Pero mangyayari po to the end na plano ng Panginoon to spread the gospel to the outermost of the earth because that is the plan. But I'm sure that you are still part of it. The only way that you can be part of it is Jesus be the center of your life. Amen po? Okay. Number three. Last. Kanina, uh, what are the three things needed for the mission? Number one, be persistent. Number two, we need to have a fresh perspective of God in our lives. Number three, pastor constancy. A broad view of what God wanted to do to you. May mga bagay po na kapag di po talaga natin, kapag tayo ay nag-give up, at lagi natin tinitingnan ang ating kahapon, well, you can glance on it, but if it will still affect your life, your decision, dahil ganyan ka, dahil ganito ka, dahil ganyan, ganito lang kasi ako, then you are bound, you are in bondage with your past. But God says, if anyone in Christ is a new creation, all things are passed away. Behold, all things become snow. That's why, number three, past circumstances will not be able to rob you of what God will want them to do through you. Maraming gusto ang Diyos na gawin sa buhay mo, pero dahil hindi ka makalabas-labas dyan sa kahapon mo. Hindi ka, at ikaw ay lagi nakalimun sa likod, hindi mo makikita kung anong plano ng Diyos sa buhay mo. You cannot even move forward. Amen po? Okay. There is an example here of uh, by the life of James the Quick Terrors. Ito si James Quick Terrors is a former heavyweight boxer. No? Was a cowboy from Oklahoma who fought out of Chicago in the early 1980s. Natalo lang ito ni Mike Tyson before, but he became a champion, no? So, hindi basta-basta magandang champion ka sa boxing. Manny Pacquiao nga, ano nga, champion niya. Kita niyo naman ang buhay ngayon, no? Years later, he still remember his first day in the Windy City after his arrival from Tulsa. So, alam na alam niya hindi itong Chicago na ito. That's his favorite city to, to, to read books, no? And uh, to meditate on the Lord. So, sabi niya, uh, I got off the bus with two cardboard suitcases under my arms in downtown Chicago and stopped in form in in front of the Sears Tower. No? Sa harap daw ng Sears Tower. May sikat ito na uh, outlet sa uh, so, 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 USA, pero ngayon para magsasara na yata. Pero sabi niya dito, bumaba sa ilo ng bus, galing po sa Oklahoma, uh, dala niya dalawang bag, at nakaharap siya sa uh, Sears Tower. And uh, I put my suitcases down and look up at the tower and said to myself, I'm going to conquer Chicago. Grabe yung vision niya. No? I'm going to conquer Chicago. So, isita ka po dito. Dito ako magkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakapagkakap
rubbed off by your circumstances. Because God is going to do something in your life. God is going to do something in your ministry. God is going to do something in this church. You and me walking together to the end of the earth. There are circumstances that will try to rub us. But we hold on to the promises of the Lord. Okay? There are so many things, there are so many reasons that we, and that is there is some reasons to quit. Marami! But why are you quitting? Because it will not, it will do a, a, a disservice to you. Ikaw yung masisira, ikaw yung lumi. Alam mo kung bakit? Because ang, ang tapalikuran mo ay ang Diyos na wala at kusan. Ang Diyos na makapangyarihan. Ang Diyos na nagmamahal. So do not let past experiences or setbacks keep you from fulfilling God's vision for your life. And that vision of the Lord in your life, if you are planted in this church, it is connected to your disciple. It is connected to your pastor. It is connected to the pastors. It is connected to this church. And it is connected to the body of Christ. Kaya po, wag ka rin ako. Sabihan niyo na labi mo, kung nararamdaman mo na nag-quit ka, ito ang secret. Wag ka mag-quit. Nahuna-una din. Amen? Hold on to the faith that God gave you. So there are three things needed for the vision. Number one, be persistent. Number two, do not allow circumstances to wrap up the things that God wanted to do in your life. It's number three. And number two is that uh, the Lord wants you to ask for more. Amen? Like Elijah, you need a fresh perspective of God in your life. Amen. Kasi pag pagbaba mo na, mga isang linggo na, tapos wala ka pang nare-receive ng word ng Lord na yan, bahaw na yan. Amen? Lamig ka na na, may molds na yan. God is going to give you fresh revelation every day in order for you to keep, to keep you know, the fire, to keep the vision burning in your life. You need a fresh perspective of God in your life. Makikilala mo ang Panginoon sa araw-araw. Napoleon Hill says, A quitter never wins. And a winner never wins. Walang winner na nag-quit. Amen po. Patuloy po yan. No compromise. Compromise is a subtle form of quitting. Hindi lang. 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 Because we do not let God be God if we compromise. Instead, we do it on our own way. Kapag nag-compromise ka, we do not make and we do not allow God to be God in your life. If you are doing it on your way, ginagamit mo na yung pangalan sa mga. Put your trust 100% on God. Okay. We are immovable. For those who are walking in the vision. For those who are aligning themselves to the united vision of the Lord in this church. And your family's vision is aligned to the, to the vision of this church. And your personal vision is aligned to the vision of this church. One Lord. United. One Lord, one vision. And I will tell you, I will Psalms 112, verse 8, verse 6 to 7. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed trusting in the Lord. Sigurad po ako, 
position that they gave us. Trusting the Lord by walking on the vision that God gave to us. Father of the Son of the Holy Spirit. And 